all of a sudden my bike runs kind of crappy. It starts harder, bottom end is a little sluggish or weird or sputtery. It maybe doesn't pull like it should. Well, this could be a decent reason why. See all this crap in the throttle body? This is a lot of deposits from the fuel that you get nowadays. And you can see it all in this throttle body. And one kind of neat thing is uh, you can kind of see actually everywhere the fuel goes because it does squirt up from the injector. That's right there. You can see how it travels out of the injector. When your throttle plate opens and creates right the strongest stream of air coming underneath. Uh, but when it does start to open, you know that the fuel is spraying up from here and you can see how it's covered all over the inside of the throttle plate. And you know it's fuel. Why? Well, because here's the other side. Look how perfectly clean that is. So it's all crap from the fuel. So anyhow, the purpose of this thing is uh, cleaning the map sensor, which is the one that's right here. And MAP is for short, it stands for Manifold Air Pressure Sensor, and it runs down through these orifices in here, and it comes out in this small little hole you see right here. And this is the one that picks up your elevation changes or barometric pressure changes. So whether you're at sea level or 10,000 feet, this is what picks that up and feeds that information back to the computer. So if it's reading a wrong signal, i.e. it gets clogged up with a bunch of this goofy crap that you see here running through these tight 90s, you can see it comes into this passage, goes straight up here, and goes over into this membrane right here, which fluctuates up and down, and that fluctuation turns into a voltage, which comes out of wires connected to it right here, feeds the ECU, and then it knows basically what your elevation is. So if this gets clogged, you have running issues. So now that you know how bad this is, now this body only has about 400 miles on it, and this is Arizona gas. This isn't even the crappy California gas, which is generally far worse than ours. So uh, the ethanol stuff does this. I don't know about your state, but it's good to keep this thing in mind. Now we're going to take this apart and show you the best way to clean this map passage without destroying the sensor. Okay, it's pretty easy. Here's your sensor. Basically, we just don't want to get any chemical like carburetor cleaner in this small hole right here because that'll go into the membrane that fits on top of here. It'll eat it and then this part will be junk. And I'm not really sure you can even buy this on its own. It came out of here. Here's the clamp that held it down and it was just a Phillips screw that you removed to take it off. So all we're going to try to do is get carburetor cleaner flowing through there. Now carburetor cleaner, I mean at least in Arizona, California it's more like piss in a can, but most things are piss in a can in California. I can't help you with that, uh, but at least this will kind of dissolve deposits from the problems your gas is causing you and building up. Air, I'm not so sure. We tried to clean things with air before on race teams and it just didn't work. But once you got the carburetor cleaner going through it, you cleaned it out and it worked. So you can go either way. I use the wand and put it in this side. Watch your eyes because it's not thick enough for the wand to fit into. Now nah, life is good. It's a good strong stream. The problem is if that gets clogged up with some of the residue deposits, that'll kind of there's turbulence always going on in here. If it kind of gets clogged up in here and it just can't work right, you start to have running problems. So that's it. Life's good on this thing. You can clean the rest up. The rest of the stuff isn't going to really cause any problems, but yeah, it's interesting to know what's going on. Okay, clean it up, put it back together 
and it's probably going to run better.